Hello my lovely cuties, welcome back to another Tumblr tutorial. I am Noemi, the creator behind NRB Crafts, and we are starting this tutorial off with a already sanded and prepped Tumblr, and I am going over my Tumblr with some Mod Podge and um, I mixed a little bit of white acrylic paint on here just because I noticed that my tumbler was kind of splotchy in some areas when I spray painted it and um, like I mentioned in my previous video the weather has not helped a lot here where I live so I at least got one coat of white spray paint. I used the Head on the Clouds Color Shot spray paint for this white coat and I am applying some white glitter to this tumbler. Now, um, full disclosure, um, I was going to use a different glitter for this. I was going to use a glow in the dark glitter, but I kind of just got overly excited of creating this tumbler, so I just used a regular white glitter. Um, I believe the color that I used is called Rainbow White from Zindi.com. So, um, I'll try to have that linked in the description below. Um, I got it a while ago, so I don't necessarily remember where I got it from. But it is one of my favorite white glitters, so I will do my best to find it and put it in the description. So... Um, after I finished glittering and mod podging my glitter, um, as you know, I have been trying some new materials, and even though they're not technically new materials to put on a tumbler, they are new to me trying them out. <laughs> um, so these materials that I am using are technically for nails, so you want to keep that in mind as well and I am going to apply them to the tumbler so um, I am going to after I finish glittering my tumbler I am going to apply 50 milliliters of epoxy and I am just going to do the one coat um, obviously you know if you're if you prefer using a chunky white or whatever, then um, you may need more than one coat for your tumbler. So you do want to keep that in mind. And if you have a hard time laying down chunky glitter, um, you can check out some of my previous videos. I do have some videos that explain how to lay down chunky glitter. So... Um, that's, I believe it was in one of my, um, I forget what video it was, but I for sure know that I have some <laughs> that talk about laying down chunky glitter. So, um, I believe the Milky Way one and the hand painted tumbler, um, both of those talk a little bit about laying down chunky glitter. If you guys need like more info on that, feel free to message me or leave a comment in the on the bottom. And so after that, I am going to cut the border off of this decal. And I printed this on clear sticker paper. If you would like to purchase this decal, I will have it in the description. I designed myself um, this decal, so if you guys like it and would like to add it to your creations, um, whether it be, you know, shirts, tumblers, notebooks, whatever it is that you guys are making, um, I will have the description in the... I will have the link to my Etsy shop in the description. So I am, after I cut this out, I am going to mark where I am finishing off, just a little bit below, um, because I didn't know exactly how far up I was gonna go. 
So these little little jars are full of spider gel and <laughs> um it's kind of like a stringy substance. Uh this is what they use for nails. So uh this is my first time using this product and as you can see I am kind of having a hard time starting off <laughs> with putting this on here. Um until I grab a little bit more I just start kind of wrapping it around my tumbler and that is pretty much all I did. Um the pack that I got off of Amazon um well I got two packs off of Amazon. Uh the first pack came with all the colors. The second pack I had a lot of repeat colors which kind of sucked because originally when I came up with this um with how I wanted to make this tumbler. I wanted to use three um, colors. So the pack that I got was supposedly going to have a light brown, a dark brown, and then all of the other colors. But I never got the browns in the pack. So I am just using this like dark gold champ champagne color. So um, as you can see, the back of where my tumbler is didn't get enough of the spider gel so i am just kind of trying to make sure that the whole tumbler is covered with this because i really like the effect and the look that i had to it um obviously you know if you try this out you can play around with it and the packs both of the packs that i got came with these little tools to use the spider gel with so after I finished applying the spider gel in this color, I am going to use my UV lamp to cure it for about a minute. So um, it is kind of like a UV resin type thing. So you do want to just kind of use caution. <laughs> um, I also have some glow in the dark ones that, you know, like they charge up with... Um, with the light so I can't necessarily show the UV like the little the glow because of the UV um but keep an eye out for um next week or the week after um the week after so the first week of February I am gonna be doing a another spider gel um tumbler but that one's going to be glow in the dark. So <laughs> you guys are still going to get to see the glow in the dark spider gel. Um, just in a future video. So um, to clean these little tools that come with it. I just used a little bit of acetone. And a, um, a little round cotton little whatever the pad thingies that it's called. I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Um, but I used one of those to just clean off my tool and I did get some <laughs> around the edge of my container. So I am also going to be removing that. So after I cured my UV with my UV lamp, the little, the spider gel, I'm just twisting my tumbler, making sure that I am getting every single side of my tumbler and making sure it's cured. So after that is done, I am going to go in and start with the black. So um, I kind of wanted to create an ombre effect, but I mean, like I, it, it kind of looks like it. I probably should have gone back in with that um, gold color to make it a little bit more like an ombre. But I absolutely love this tumbler and this technique for a tumbler. Like, even though it is technically for nails, I love that you can use just pretty much whatever on a tumbler to make a tumbler. So, um, you know, like you can make fabric tumblers or tumblers using scrapbook paper or, you know, like the um, a couple videos ago I used washi tape for a tumbler so 
Um, if you guys would like to see like a scrapbook paper tumbler or a fabric tumbler, um, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, work on a video for that so you guys can have a little bit more reference, you know. Um, obviously, there's a lot of creators that have created fabric tumblers and tumblers with scrapbook paper. Obviously, I'm not the first one, but it is nice to have, you know, options um, to what kind of videos you are watching. So, um, I think for this black spider gel, I kind of did go a little bit more heavy handed than the gold, but I still love how it turned out. And that quote that I'm going to use for it, I think it went perfectly with this tumbler. And obviously, you know, like the glitter and the gold, it kind of like makes all of the things on the decal turn out, you know, um. I'll have the sticker paper that I used in my Amazon favorites in the description as well as the spider gel that I got will also be in my Amazon favorites or I'll just um, provide the direct link to it in the description so that you guys could get it if you guys would like to try this technique out. Um, I know sometimes trying new things out can be scary and kind of nerve-wracking but <laughs> it um it's a really rewarding feeling when you try something out and you see that you can make this you know like that you're creating these things even though it's completely new to you and you have no idea what you're doing <laughs> um because to be honest most of the time when i am trying new things out i am freaking out and even though like I said in my previous video um even though these are just tumblers there's still part of you that wants to do you know your best and even though you are doing your best and it doesn't turn out um you just kind of have to learn from your mistakes you know and just kind of go with the flow um it's something that I need to work on myself because I I am very hard on myself when I mess up a tumbler or when something doesn't go right for me. So, you know, sometimes you just kind of have to take a step back, take a deep breath and just kind of think and just be like, how can I solve this problem? So that's kind of how I get through most of my tumblers <laughs> and even though I might not say it in every single video when I try new things out I am kind of freaking out so um you could expect some more videos with spider gel um I do have two more videos planned with uh with spider gel so get ready for that um I am also going to start offering more decals in my Etsy shop so make sure to go check those out um I think they're fairly priced for you know being designs and originals that I am creating so go check those out if you guys haven't checked them out I have the link in the description other than that that is the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys on Wednesday bye